Welcome to the Codeless Classroom. Today's topic will be an introduction to the Exclusive Gateway node and workflow. What is Exclusive Gateway? The Exclusive Gateway node uses conditional logic and workflow links to direct a workflow down a specific path. For example, you can use an Exclusive Gateway node to direct an end user to a different screen task node, depending on their specified age. Let's take a look at an example of the Exclusive Gateway and examine its functionality. Here we have a workflow application and some modules set up. We have our main task, which will take in data that we need for our exclusive gateway. In this main task, we have a dropdown named drop path selection with two options for A and B. We also have another field called drop path selection num. It has options for the values one and two. We then have our modules that we would like to direct the end user to based off of their selection. There's path A, there's path 1B, path 2B, and finally, the end module that we want to end our flow in. In this workflow, we could see the exclusive gateway node in action. We have our main task, which will be collecting drop path selection. And in the exclusive gateway, we have a section for label. We also have a section available for an error message to prompt the end user with a customized error message if there's an issue with the logic in the workflow links. We then have the links between our exclusive gateways and our paths. Here we have the logic stating that if the expression drop path selection is equal to A, then we send the user to task A. In the inspector panel, we can also see there are a few additional settings for the link. Selecting default will inform the gateway that if no link expressions are true, to send the user down the defaulted path. Unidirectional will make it so that after the end user navigates past this link, they cannot go back. Use flash message will allow creators to create a custom message to send to the end user when they reach this link in the flow. Now on to the next link. For path 1b, we can see an example of some more complex logic in our expression. The exclusive gateways it supports Excel formulas in this logic section. Here we have an expression saying if drop path selection is equal to B and drop path selection num is equal to one, send the user down this task. We have a similar setup for task 2B. So now let's take a look at this workflow in action. So here we could see I'm able to select value A. And when I select next, we will be taken to the screen letting us know that we've selected path A. If I were to go back and then instead change my value to B and the number to one, we will be taken to the one B task. Likewise, if I were to select two, we're taken to the two B task. And all of these will end with the end module that we've set up for our workflow. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.